The great home life, the perfect life, safety and security, all of the essential needs are always being met. If cats could talk and let us know what they're really thinking and wanting, it's a fair assumption that most cats would love to have this life. It's the pinnacle, really. No threats, just tender love and care, and certainly no reason to wander outdoors and face the great unknown. However, some cats, even full-time house cats, will engage in a bit of door-darting behavior. For an owner, this can be stressful and quite difficult to manage. Every time you have to go outside, you're faced with the task of making sure that you can open that door and close it right back before your cat escapes. In this video, I'll talk about door darting and why cats do it, and a few helpful tips to make sure your cat stays safe and sound inside of your home. Stay tuned. Door darting can be incredibly dangerous, no matter how you look at it. This is especially true if your cat has never been outside and has no idea about life on the other side of your front door. No familiar scents, no familiar hideouts. Door darting of this nature can strike fear into the heart of any owner, because the cat has no reference points. And without an understanding of life beyond the door, returning home in a safe fashion could be rather difficult. And of course this begs the question, why would a cat that resides in the heart of safety and security, with all essential needs met, why would a cat dare take a chance like this? It really all comes down to curiosity and that independent streak. Once that door opens, new colors are presented, new visuals, and certainly new smells. Any and all of that is quite appealing. Even the grand house cat, the feline that knows they've got it made, sometimes that just isn't enough. And once a cat realizes there's a new world beyond the door, the temptation can be just too much and too difficult to resist at times. So many places to roam, so many things to hunt. When it comes to door darting techniques, some felines can almost act like clever, misbehaving children. Simply sitting back, playing it cool, and just waiting for the right time. Once a cat has seen you come and go, and the curiosity has peaked, and a decision has been made, a cat could very well just take it easy for a while, act a bit unassuming, and just wait for the next chance, the right chance. Thus the name door darting. It can happen in a flash. The next time you take out some trash, the next time a guest comes over, any type of activity where the door is open, perhaps for a second or two longer than normal, boom, your cat is gone. If you have to wait at the door for any reason, a door darting cat will view this as a wonderful opportunity to bolt into the fresh air of this new world. And of course, for all the mad dash types, other cats are a bit trickier with how they operate, perhaps not running right past you in a blatant flash, but rather stepping out in a subtle fashion, even to the point where your cat could be gone and you'd not even realize it until several minutes later, even half an hour or more. Depending on what's going on in your day, sadly, your cat could be gone for an extended period of time, and it would only finally come to your attention when the pet wasn't present for, say, mealtime, a play session, a petting session, what have you. It's all extremely dangerous, because if your cat slips out and you don't know it, that's time you can't get back with respect to a potential search. And even if your cat wanted to come home, you wouldn't be there and the door would be closed. Door darting is very serious and it can prove fatal. For a human comparison, let's just go ahead and say it. This would be like a child just walking away from home. That's incredibly scary. It's an incredibly scary thought. And a cat with no reference points is a stranger in a strange land. The dangers are virtually endless, and a cat that's just left to live off the land and act on instincts, that's dangerous. This could be tough, especially for an adult cat who's never really had to rough it, let's say, in the wild. The good life, years spent in the house, that can take an edge off of a feline, meaning that a cat that all of a sudden is placed in the middle of the great outdoors, those instincts aren't as sharp, and the environment certainly isn't as friendly. The longer a feline lives indoors with a loving family, the more difficult it becomes for them to suddenly find themselves out on the streets and all alone. And while independence and curiosity likely became too much to resist and led them to door darting in the first place, sometimes life isn't all it's cracked up to be once you're out there all alone. For every cat that loves the outdoors, others will attempt to run and hide, quickly aware of the danger they've placed themselves in. Of course, as an owner, door darting can make the seemingly casual task of opening your door is suddenly not so casual at all. 
especially if your cat has bolted out in the past and is now back safe and sound inside. The fear that they'll try it again can be jarring, even to the point where you have to put your cat in another room in order to walk outside and just check the mail. When it comes to potential solutions, I offer up the following suggestions. Let's begin with the door itself. Do your best to never draw attention to the door. Come and go. Don't stand at the door. Don't fiddle around with the doorknob. Don't mess around with your keys when you're behind the door. This can cause the door itself to become a gathering spot, an attention spot, an area of interest. In short, don't make the door famous. One way to distract is to place your cat on a cat tree or a napping spot away from the door. Give your cat a few good pets from that spot and then very casually walk to the door and leave. If this becomes a routine, your cat won't be so interested in the door itself. They'll be more interested in the pets you give them. It's all about positive redirection, which is something I've mentioned quite a bit on this channel. And oh yeah, those cat treats. Add a few to your cat's little nesting spot away from the door. They'll be too busy snacking to care about you leaving. At least that's the goal. Commit this to routine and see how it goes. Another tip, and this is for coming inside, hey, simply place something in front of the door that makes it very difficult for your cat to dance right by you. Place something right outside the door and almost use it like a shield. And while this could seem silly and crude, hey, you've got to do what you've got to do, right? This can be a good way to keep your cat at bay until that positive training has kicked in. And finally, in addition to placing your cat in another room, which is something I hinted at earlier, simply find another way out. Do what you have to do to get outside and keep your cat safe. Do you have to use the front door each and every time? Can you go out the side door, close it, and then access your garage, for example, that way? If you can't exit out a door that doesn't directly lead to the great outdoors, take it. Sure, it might take an extra 20 seconds, but it's worth it, especially if you have an eager, door-darting feline on your hands. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, any door-darting cats that you're struggling to reel in right now? Are your cats simply too intrigued by life outside? They just can't seem to kick that curiosity bug. If you have a story to share about your cat, and even better, if you have a story to share that involves successful tips on how to correct this issue, please let me know down in the comments section below. Any positive and helpful suggestions could help others who are in the midst of the exact same situation. You should never be afraid for your cat each and every time you open your door. You should never have to back up facing your living room in order to go outside. Door darting is a very serious issue, and it's a big win once you're able to get it under control. To everyone dealing with this problem right now, I wish you all the very best, and do whatever you need to do in order to keep your cat safe. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.